on Monday. All right, this has a lot of us thinking about heading to the backyard, doing the barbecue, perhaps heading into the pool. But there are some very sobering facts when it comes to swimming. According to the Center for Disease Control, 10 people die from unintentional drownings every day, with two of those 10 under the age of 14. Wow. We're well, here to talk about ways to keep your family safe around the pool this summer is Adam Penn. He is the aquatics coordinator for Georgia State University in Atlanta and joins us live from their outdoor lounge, a lodge pool in Stone Mountain. Good morning, Adam. Thanks for joining us here. Now, this weekend is definitely the unofficial start of, of summer, the time when many pools start opening up. So what water safety rules should parents know and follow so they can pass it on to their kids? Sure, yeah, everybody uh, should be ramping up to get ready for the summer season. So, of course, like you said, there's a few safety tips. Um, number one, I would strongly encourage everyone that has the ability and the opportunity to, to get their kids trained in swimming lessons. Uh, that's the first form of prevention uh, for, uh, for kids is to get them trained, to get them to know how to swim when they're around bodies of water. And I also just suggest for parents so they should also uh, get trained as well. There's several classes that they can take such as basic water rescue as well as personal water rescue. And so that would really help them in the event that there is any emergencies that occur in or around the pool. Uh, the second rule that I would uh, that I would follow is uh, every aquatic environment that you're going to take your family to is going to be varying and very different. Uh, so I would suggest every family to make a plan uh, that is unique to every aquatic environment that they are going to, such as basically a water park or a waterfront. All of those uh, aquatic environments will have different hazards uh, and different uh, elements that they need to uh, that the kids will need to look forward to there. Um, thirdly, uh, I would say that one of the main things is for those weaker swimmers, uh, make sure that you not only pack and wear, uh, pack but wear your U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket. Uh, there are differences in flotation devices, so make sure that when you're putting your kids in well-fitting life jackets that they are U.S. Coast Guard approved. Um, the, uh, the fourth thing that I would tell uh, everyone is all uh, always to look out for the twos, and that's the T O O S. And so, in the twos, you're also looking for your kids to that are too tired, uh, too exhausted, uh, too much time in the sun, as well as too dehydrated. Uh, the last thing is always going to be a give all uh, or a, uh, a given is uh, make sure that you're applying and reapplying sunscreen for your kids all day during the day. Uh, sunscreen does wear off, especially in the water. All right. That too uh, is, is a great advice. And real quick, we have about 30 seconds. Uh, let's talk about preventing the spread of illness through swimming water. Yes, ma'am. Um, definitely the CDC is always the best line of uh, recommendations. Uh, so a few things to keep in mind is always have your kids shower off before entering any body of water. Uh, so that's just really to make sure that we take all of that nastiness off of us <laughs> before the pool. Um, and especially... Uh, hidden areas and cracks and crevices and make sure that you wash them off. Uh, as well as if your kids are not potty trained, make sure that they're wearing a swim diaper. There are main differences between swim diapers and regular diapers. There you go. Uh, yes, please, please parents, do all of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Adam Penn with Georgia State University giving us so many good things to think about today. I'm having flashbacks to the movie Caddyshack. <laughs>